We're hitting 67% on this show the last two weeks. Nice 24 and 12 run. Two and one yesterday. True to form. Swept the double play. The best bet. My God, it should have been a 3 0 sweep. But how do you not push a run home with the bases loaded and nobody out, Baltimore? You deserve to be eliminated. Mark yes. Zinno, the people spoke in the comments section yesterday about what a fine, upstanding human being you are. And you did cash. Well, thank you. With the over in the Mets Brewers. I did. The first nope, one is the hardest one it. to get the streak going. The first one is the okay. hardest one. Okay. It's okay. Nobody bought it, but it was fine. And it cashed. And I'm 100% happy with it. And thank you all for your love and support. You're wonderful people. Um, and, you know, truly, thank you, nobody, for actually putting their Venmo in the bottom of the uh, comment section so I didn't have to give anybody $5. <laughs> but all nonetheless, right. we turned it around. We started a new streak today. Uh, and we are we are ready and rare to go. All right, let's get into today's double play. Uh, we're changing up the format just a little bit based on what we have to bet on here on Thursday. For our double play, we're going to focus on the NFL game tonight. Bucks and Falcons down in your neck of the woods. Mark Zeno Rahim, I cannot believe he went back to that stats are for losers line. I, I cannot know. believe that. Yes, but yes, be, that, that yes, offends me. That offends me. I know What's it that? does. But guess who will be inside the building tonight for this game? Um, probably you. Yes. Okay, it'll, there you it'll, go. It'll be me. It'll be me All right. uh, about 15 Topo Chico's deep uh, by the time this thing kicks off. So uh, you ever had those Topo Chico seltzers? They're really good. No, I They're haven't really actually, which is They're surprising good. given how much I drink. But uh, no, I haven't had that in particular. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to look here tonight, um, Baker Mayfield, under 243 and a half passing yards. Uh, the Falcons – Strangely enough, uh, have actually been pretty good at pass defense this year. They're 12th in the league in passing yards allowed. I'm sorry, 13th at 191 per game. Over the last three games, they faced Derek Carr and the Saints, who have had a pretty prolific passing attack, Patrick Mahomes, and Jalen Hurts. And over the three of those games, they've only allowed 210. Last week, they gave up 235 to Derek Carr. But this is a defense, and I know this because I cover this team, the back end of this secondary with Jesse Bates and Justin Simmons they are doing very good, okay, at keeping everything in front of them. They have not given up a lot of big plays. There's not a lot of chunk yards. I know Baker Mayfield's been a little bit of a mixed bag this year when it comes to, you know, how he's done against good defenses versus bad. We saw what he did to Philadelphia, torched them, you know, uh, was able to put up a bunch of yards. We saw what he did last week, was able to put up a bunch of yards when he was been up against better pass defenses like the Broncos, who were at the top of the league in pass defense. He was very, very limited. So uh, a huge important game here for Atlanta. I think that the Falcons tonight, um, you know, have a very good shot to win this game. But that said, it's going to be all about defense tonight for them. They'll keep Baker Mayfield limited. Bucks have a bunch of injuries in the secondary uh, to their receiving core rather as well. So they're not at 100 percent there. Baker Mayfield will be efficient, but it'll keep everything underneath. Try to keep the chains moving. We stay under 243 and a half tonight. All right, smash that like button if you agree with Mark Zinno on Baker Mayfield under 243 and a half passing yards. My play a little bit correlated, eh, kind of sort of. I like the under for the game here, Mark, at 44. You touched on Tampa Bay. I completely agree with you what this Atlanta defense is doing, keeping everything in front of them. Uh, the the cluster of injuries at receiver for the Bucks is a big deal. As you know, I've never been a big Mayfield guy. Last season, his resurgence was fueled by what I viewed as as an unsustainable amount of success on third down. This Bucks offense did not have a lot of early down success rate, but let's talk about the Atlanta portion of the equation, too. They've got injuries, too, uh, at center, most notably. And, Mark, you know this. That 28-26 win over New Orleans, that was a really fraudulent final score. The Falcons did not score an offensive touchdown in that game. Their two touchdowns were a pick six and a fumble recovery off a muff punt. All four field goals were more than 40 yards. The game winner from Koo, 58 yards. I believe that was a record for the building. They said it was the longest field goal uh, in the history of that stadium. And it was set up by a pass interference call as well. So 28 points from Atlanta last week was misleading. I think the defense is going to play better. It's a conservative passing game uh, that Tampa Bay likes to run. They've been get, They were getting some yards after the catch last week against the Eagles. I don't think they get it here. The last three weeks on Thursday night football, we have seen a total of 41, 27, and 35 total points scored. We all know about the primetime unders thing. Tonight, I think somewhere in that same range, under 
44 is my half of the double play to go along with Mark, uh, his prop on Baker Mayfield under passing yards. If you want the side of this game, you can head on over to wt.buzz slash BP. It was my $5 play. You can still get it, though. Off a best bet winner last night, Mark, myself on the diamond with the San Diego Padres. Woo! Was that uh, sweaty butt cheeks time for those last couple yeah. innings. That bullpen made it way too interesting. Yeah. Um, and I also will have a play in tonight's game uh, up at wt.buzz slash MC. It's a good place to go now. It's a friendly place once again. So we welcome all people uh, to join us in in, 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 in the winning. <laughs> we try to make this thing uh, called a winning streak. <laughs> we'll put two of them together uh, in a row. <laughs> I think you're going to do it. And again, please comment down below. Just It was a record number of views, I think, for the show yesterday. A record yes, number of comments. It. At thank least you. that thing. We love you guys. Uh, smash that like button if you'd be so nice. We also love when you do that and, as and well. The people complaining in the comment section that, that I was doing too much, uh, too much, too much self pity and whining. I apologize. It was, it, it, it was just a rough week. It, it, it didn't treat me well. But we'll be back to our, our happy selves. Well, somebody's going to be happy tonight, and somebody's not going to be happy in Major League Baseball. I, of course, talk. About the Game 3, yes, we actually have a Game 3 in one of these wild card series. Just the second time in three years out of 12 series that one of these, that since the wild card for- format was expanded, that one of these have gone to three games. Mets and Brew Crew. This series, met, uh, Mark, has seen a lot of runs scored relative to the other three series that are now completed. Uh, we've got Tobias Myers on the mound for the Brew Crew. Please spare the man's name. Making fun of that. You've done that enough during the regular season. Quintana. Going for the Mets, he has been shockingly great down the stretch. He's getting a, four, a, a .90 ERA his last five starts. We're focusing on the first five for this game, yeah. this do-or-die, winner-take-all situation, and we like the under at four and a half. Yeah, I mean, look, there's a lot of different varying numbers out there with a seven and a half for the total game. We've seen three and a half. Maybe you shop for a four if you like the juice better at four and a half here, but but uh, Tobias Myers, who has pitched well with a bad first name, um, and Jose Quintana, each faced each other five days ago when the Mets and Brewers played. Um, Myers was nearly perfect. He went four innings, gave up one hit, no runs. Quintana uh, also equally as good, although he did give up two runs uh, over the course of his start against them in four and a third innings, five hits, but did strike out nine. Now, the Brewers actually hit lefties pretty well, but we saw that in the opening part of this series um, against Manea last night. It was a lefty that, you know, they, they only scored three runs off of him, or two runs off of him, rather, uh, in the first couple of innings. So we can live with that. Um, it, it's, a, it's a game seven ties atmosphere, right? It's elimination game. So hit, hooks will be quick for these guys. Um, as mm-hmm. long as they keep the, the, the runs to a run or two, they'll get to stay in the game. But they start putting runners on. Um, these guys are going to get yanked pretty quick. That said, a lot of these managers don't try to manufacture runs, and teams don't try to manufacture runs. They all sit there and wait for a double or or, or a two-run home or whatever it may be. Nonetheless, I think we get the under here. I think when you get to these Game 7s, type these Eliminator-type games, they always start out slow. They always start out uh, very, very tight. And and if we have a a 4.5 out there, despite the juice, we're willing to live with it here, given the situation in the spot here, under 4.5 for our show best bet. Love it, and you know what I'm going to do right now, Mark Zeno. Mm, tell me. Not put. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put over myself. I'm going to promote you. If you no. think Mark Zeno is about to start a winning streak, you can get on board the next seven days for just seventy seven dollars. Just head on over there to his page. Go. Eleven dollars per day. You get every winner in every sport. That also applies to me too. Oh, by the way, there but goes. there you go. There you go. No coupon code needed. WT.buzz slash MZ. WT.buzz slash BP for your seven-day all-access pass. will be a busy weekend for the both of us. I know it is a busy Thursday for you covering the Atlanta Falcons. So we yes. will wrap this thing up. I, I wouldn't call it covering. I'd, I'd be more just like spectating and drinking. Oh, okay. I'm not, well, I'm you not, know, I'm not going tonight in a, in a fiduciary capacity. I'm just going there. Yes, that's what I'm going there to do. Yes. Is Patty that- Johnson going with you? Uh, you might come home with me. I'm going with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. If you're not subscribed to the Witch Talk YouTube page, do that. Yes. Like the show. Play See you Friday.